Welcome back to Booze and Rock. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm gonna to use some grapefruit and some lime, and I'm gonna make this, the ginger binger. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. Now, the ginger binger comes to us from the book, Drink, The Ultimate Cocktail Guide by Kurt Maitland. And I'll put a link down in the description down below for you. This is a very simple cocktail. I went looking on Google to see what I could find for it for history and other variations. And while well, I came up with a bunch of stuff that mm, I can't mention on this show. So I'm gonna get right into the cocktail because you know what? That's what we're here for today, something simple. Now this is a build in the glass drink and the recipe book requires that you put it into a Collins glass. I, however, am going to use my rocks glass because that's the kind of mood I'm in today. And you know what? Don't be afraid to use different glasses than what we use here on the show because drink it the way you want it. And you know what? You're gonna enjoy it more. So of course, the first thing we need is some ice. Looking good. So of course we need a little bit of vodka. Now this is flight vodka. It is a local vodka to me. And we need one ounce of this, which works out to 30 milliliters. We also need a little bit of triple sec. Now this recipe calls for a splash of triple sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my bar stool, bar stool. I'm sitting on this, right? It's gonna be painful. The bar spoon here to give us approximately five mils, give or take. We also happen to need a little bit of grapefruit juice. And we need one ounce of grapefruit juice or 30 milliliters. Now half a grapefruit juice will give you approximately two ounces, but we're only using half of that. So one ounce is 30 mils. Looks nice, we're getting a nice pinkish color here, exactly sort of what we're looking for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to top this with ginger ale. Now the recipe calls for two ounces, but I'm gonna free pour it because there's lots of space in here. and I kind of would like a little bit more ginger ale. Look at that. Looking nice. We're gonna give this just a, a gentle stir to incorporate everything. Very nice. That'll keep everything in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of a garnish for mint. And what we'll do is, you know, we'll give this a bit of a spank because everything's a little bit better with a spank. Put that in there like so. And I need a lime wheel because why not? And I just like the colors and the smells that this is gonna give me, the odors, oh yes. You can't really go wrong with something like this. Look at that. It is a gorgeous, simple drink. It's something that looks like you'd have it outside on a hot, sunny day. Let's give it a smell. Well, the first thing, of course, you notice is the mint because it's like right under my nose and you get a little bit of the lime notes. And uh, we'll give it a bit of a sip now. Oh yeah. Mm. That's really good. The ginger ale comes through good. The grapefruit's not very uh, tart, uh, which is one of the things I worried about because I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit. Now, one of the things I do have to tell you with grapefruit is if you're on heart medication, be careful because some of those medications react badly to grapefruit juice. And if you're gonna do that, try it with a different type of citrus flute, maybe even a blood orange or something like that. So it works out to your taste so that you can drink something that you wanna drink. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is not gonna make it to the back deck, I'll tell you that much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the description of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every time we put up a new video. But if you don't like a refreshing drink, Hit the thumbs down button twice, and we'll see you next time. All right, so let's get into this. Today's cocktail comes to us through the book 
Collins glass. However, I'm going to use a rocks glass because, well, this is the kind of mood I'm in today. And whatever type of drink you want. <coughs> oh shit, now I gotta clean my glass. Excuse me. Excuse me, stop it. 